Hey, welcome to another video for our PHP 2 class. In this next series of videos, I'm going to show you how to get to what we call milestone number two. And so the results are going to be that you have a search form and then you can get results. So for instance, if I search for anyone with the name of BA, you will see that I have everyone with a first name has Bailey and Bailey and Bastine. So you can see BAs in their first name. Also for product searches, let's say I search for the product that has anything with the HI in it. And we're going to get white and let's see some more white. What else is in here? Chip. So you can see that I'm searching for uh, the name and the products. So we have a lot of work to do to get to milestone number two. And so I'm going to create a series of eight different videos or maybe even more but these are going to take us from where we are now to where we need to be. So first of all, we're going to take a look at MySQL Workbench and uh, I'm going to give you a suggested design for your tables. However, yours will likely be different. Then we're going to populate our data. So we're gonna use a website called Makaroo, which de generates fake database, fake names and addresses. And then we're going to take a look at how you would design a more complicated application in the folder structure. And so where do you put your layers in your uh, actual code? And then we're going to take a look in each folder. So we'll look in the model folder and just briefly see what kind of uh, methods and objects we need to create. We'll look in a database folder where we have classes that manage the users and the products. And then another layer is business services. So we'll take a look at three different classes we'll create there. And then uh, we'll spend quite a bit of time on this thing called the autoloader. Since we're moving folders around, the autoloader that we have now will break and will need to be fixed. Finally, we'll do some display results and I'll show you uh, a search results of the people and you'll do the uh, similar thing with products. And to finish it off, we'll do some CSS and I'll just copy some code from W3Schools and that will give me some table formatting. So let's start with item number one, which is setting up our database that I'm going to demonstrate here in SQL Workbench. So here I am in SQL Workbench. This is a database that I've designed for my app. So you can see in here, I've got users that are attached to their address. They, have, they can have more than one address. Users are attached to the orders they create. Products also attached to the orders through the order details table. And then the order notes, which would be uh, items that you can add by the user. So in this milestone, we're not going to touch all of these tables. We will use the users table and addresses, and we will also use the products. So your milestone will focus on the products. My demonstration will show something similar with users and addresses. So let's say I've got my whole table designed, and now I want to populate it into my database. So I'm going to create an export, which will generate a SQL file that will be able to uh, create the entire table structure. So you can see I'm naming mine as store structure and continue. I'm going to replace the one that I already saved earlier and continue again. So first of all, let's make sure that our database schemas are all correct. It says PHP store and uh, that should be listed all the way through here. Uh, sometimes uh, my SQL workbench doesn't get this right, so make sure that you check. It's also uh, creating all the tables and creating the foreign keys. So if you haven't set up your uh, store yet, you need to go back and do some design. But there is my design. So I click Finish. And then if I look into my folder that I just saved this, so uh, I should be able to find this file here called um, Store, store Structure uh, SQL. Here it is. So I'm going to open it up with a text editor. So what do I have here? I could use any of these. I'm going to use Text Wrangler. And you can check through the code here and edit it if necessary. Okay, so now I'm ready to put this into my database on uh, my actual MAMP server. So let's go into our MAMP server here and we'll open our start web page and then click on my SQL or my PHP admin. So here we go. I have already created this store, so let's go take a look and see what it looks like. I'm supposed to have all this here. I'm going to delete mine and then recreate it so you can see how it was done. So let's go to operations here and we're going to drop the database and all the precious data that was in it. So now I should be able to use my files that I just created in the data 
export and I'm going to choose the import command now. So let's see, browse to the file that I just created. Let's see, I put that in htdocs and php something. It's to store, there it was. And there's my store structure. Let's see if it works. So I open it up, scroll down and click the go button. And green is everywhere. That's really good. So let's go find it. So PHP 2 store is what I called it. And there it I have. Okay, so I've got my uh, whole schema set up. So if I look in users now, there's no data, but we're about ready to create that. So the first thing we have to do is make sure that our database is set up and that we can add some users in the next video.